Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K-Tube Spot, giving you all a brand new video and it's on the season premiere of the TV One show, Hollywood Divas. Now it's executive produced by Todd Tucker, who you all know who's married to Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta and you guys know her when she was in the one of the founding members of the group Escape. And she's a singer, songwriter, and producer, so you guys know that. And also Carlos King, those are the two executive producers of the show. Now, Hollywood Divas, I'm going to let you guys know the first episode one, this season premiere. Oh my gosh, I have to let you guys know. It was really good. I was really impressed because I was like, okay, I thought it was going to be a little over the top. But no, you got your drama too. But at the same time, you really get to see what's going on with each lady or what's going on with the cast. So I'm going to just let you guys introduce each cast member from the order they um, appeared on the show. The first person is Paula J. Parker. You guys may know her. From Hustle and Flow, when she was Lexus, and also when she was um, when she was in um, Friday, you guys know when she was Craig's girlfriend with the with the blondish braids, and you know she was funny as hell in that. And, you know she also played Trudy Proud, the voice of for Tr the voice for Trudy Proud on the uh, Disney show cartoon, I should say, show the Proud Family. It was um, I loved her in that. And, you know, she was in different stuff, like Woo with Jada Pickett Smith. You know, some of the stuff I, you know, I love her in. And, you know, um, different other projects. But, and Sprung with Tisha Campbell Martin. So, those are just some of the stuff I love for Paul J. Parker. But, it was a lot. I was kind of surprised about her. Because, you know, I was wondering why, why we hadn't seen Paul J. Parker in a while. Because, I think last time I remember her was in, I think it was Hustle and Flow. But, you know, it was different stuff. You know, she's married to her husband, Forrest, and they have a song called Name Wonderful. And it's not spelled like how y'all think it is, but you'll see if you already saw it. The show. And she was talking about how she was being home, you know, being homeless and living in a hotel and just going through a lot. And then how she felt blackballed when she did the the movie Hustle and Flow. It was like, how much she, which should have captivated her career more because it was a huge, successful movie. It was kind of like her downfall. And it was just like, wow. But she got blackballed because her her husband, who she hooked up with, people knew about it. You know, they treated her mean. Kind of, it was just kind of messed up. I thought it was messed up. But Paul J. Parker, if you watching this, I love you. Love everything you do. Now, when you get to the next, um, the next diva is Miss Countess Vaughn, who y'all know she was since she was acting since she was a little girl when she was in Star Search, and then you know she did Two Two Seven, and then you know when she was in Moesha. With Brandy and Char Jackson, and then you know that was, and then they did a spinoff of Moesha the Parkers, where she continued her character Kim Parker, with Monique, and you know she's been, you know she's been on the low, you know she's been a mom and everything, she's two kids, and you know she's with her man, she's not married, but her, 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 her love, she loved her, her dude. And, you know, she was just talking about different stuff going on with her. You know, she was, they showed her what cameo from Char Jackson when she was, they, she wanted to get liposuction. You know, talking about, you know, how she felt like she was something wrong with her weight. Because, you know, she gained a little weight. She's a little thick and everything. But, you know, what's so funny. She's still, I always thought she was still a pretty girl. But I know she want to lose weight. And, hey, the teacher's on. That's your thing. Hey, I love Countess Vaughn. Countess Vaughn, if you're watching this, I love you no matter what you do. If you did liposuction, and I know that we're going to see that in the coming episodes and everything, how that went. But, hey, much love to you anyway, boo. The next person we're going to get to is one of my favorites, and I love her. I haven't talked to her in a long time. It's Miss Golden Brooks. Y'all know her famously as Maya Wilkes, which she's like, oh, hell no, from um the hit show Girlfriends, which was on from 2000 to 2008, which was like eight seasons love her in that and you know she took some time after girlfriends got canceled you know went off the air she was a she's a mom now to her daughter dakota and i remember she was um when that happened so congratulations to dakota but her i mean to to her daughter to go down her daughter dakota her daughter is a gorgeous just the cutest cutest precious little girl she's not no baby but y'all y'all see what i mean but she's a she's a beautiful young lady so go if you're watching this i have taught you watch this myspace and i know myspace was back in the day and i know we talked a little bit on twitter it was, if so hopefully that was you on twitter but you're very nice to me and hopefully we can reconnect on um, go and just you know say hi and everything but anyways then we get to the next diva which is lisa Wu. and i know a lot of you guys be like lisa Wu. 
I would be so glued But y'all know her when she was um in the Real Housewives of Atlanta from season one, season two, and I she had a little cameo on season three, but you know she left because you know things had changed, and I didn't blame her. At the same time, I would have loved her to stay, but I loved her because you a lot of y'all may know she used to be married to that uh, football player Ed Hartwell, and then a lot of y'all may not know she before she was married to Ed Hartwell back then she used to be married to Keith Sweat. So a lot of y'all didn't know that. You know now. You know now. So. But I'm not going to hold that against her because I'll still love her no matter who she was with. No matter who you with, who are you with currently. Not my business, but Lisa Wu, I love you. And I know you got a little cameo when you, they show her um, doing an acting scene with Ty Bridge, who you guys know from Different Strokes. And, you know, she was going in that acting scene. I was like, and I thought, I'm thinking, you know, first I'm thinking, okay, is she talking, is this like acting, or is, she, is this acting, or is she talking, her and Todd are actually going at it, but anyway, you did really good from the, um, it looked like it was an audition or whatever, for acting, but you was pretty good, Miss Lisa, you did really good, but, you know, she was talking to Todd Bridges, talking about how, um, you know, things were going, she, she moved to Hollywood, because she's from, um, LA, so, you know, she, you know, it's just from that type of thing. And you say, and Todd Bridges give her advice that it's hard for a, for a black actor and actress, male, female, it's hard. And you're going to have to work really hard. And I thought it was great advice for him to say that. You know, they're friends too. So I appreciate that. And then the last diva who we're going to bring up is Miss Elise Neal, who I love also dearly. You guys may remember her when she was Yvonne on the Hughleys with D.L. Hughley. And you know, she's been in different acting roles, you know, like Scream 2. You know, Hustle and Flow with Paula J. Parker. And, you know, different other projects. And a lot of people don't know she's a triple threat. She can act, she can sing, and she can dance. She still looks great for, um, for a uh, lady over 40. I'm sorry if I have to say that out loud. Miss, Miss Elise, you know, I love you. You know, we friends on Twitter and everything. You know, you always show me love, show you love. But you're still an um, amazing person. Because she has a, a group that she's going to re she's reform called Elise and the Assorted Flavors. And it was kind of, she said it was a bit, they bit off the Pussycat Doll. Pussycat Dolls that bit off of her style. Because apparently the song, um, you know, the song Don't You Know was really her song. A lot of y'all may not know that, but I'm just let y'all know. Because that's technically it was her song, but the Pussycat Dolls heard it. They used it. So we're going to put that out there. So I just want to make sure at least Sneel gets that credit and people didn't know that. That way at least you know that. Because you know how some people do. But, you know, it was good. And then you got to see Paula J. Parker, her and Paula J. Parker, who they've been friends for a long time. They talking about, and she invited Elise to be in this um, project she's doing that com that's going to combine all the divas. And you get to see how, you know, Elise is like, who's going to be in this project? She said, you're going to like everybody and everything. And then you also see, you know, but it was just different things. It was just because it, it, it was also deep that, Paula J. Parker was talking about her um, being homeless, you know, going through being blackballed in Hollywood for being with her husband, you know, when she was dating her husband before they got married and everything. And, you know, it was kind of getting a little deep, but at the same time, it was getting kind of juicy, too. And then you also get where you see um, Countess Vaughn going back to, like, improv, trying to get everything together. You see her and Golden Brooks uh, see each other, because a lot of people don't know they were together on Moesha when she was, um, Dorian, Ray J's character, Dorian, um, when he was, Dorian was signed his mom, when Bow Wow was on there as, um, as Maya, a lot of people don't know that, when she was Maya Wilkes on there, but how that co uh, coincided with, um, Moesha and Girlfriends, and how they were on there, then you know the Parkers where Golden played, um, played a large by the name of Chris, who was a lesbian at the time, in the, in the um, in that episode, and she had a thing with Tracy Meg Bingham. I hope I said the name right. And you know, it was that type of thing. You know, they were just reconnecting. But it looked like it was kind of like a little shade kind of thing. When they saw each other, like, hi, hi. But you know, it was it was interesting. You know, they were talking about what's been going on with, with each other. And you know, I thought it was cute how Paul J. Parker had already talked to Countess about the project. And then she invited, um, Sarah Golden would be good to join the group. And I thought it was cool. And then you also get to where they go back to Lisa Wu. And, you know, going into her and Paula J. Parker talking about the project. And then she was talking about who's going to be in the project. And then I know a lot of y'all wonder, okay, you want me to get straight to the point? Let me just tell you straight up. Now, when you get all the divas together, oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy. It was crazy. 
Z. Because, you know, it seemed like when it was like Paula, Countess, Elise, and Golden, they were all together. It's like everything was cool. But you see some shit. It was some shade being thrown, but I'm not going to go into it that much. But I feel like it wasn't overly done. But, you know, you could see it was like some tension. But then when Lisa Wu walked into the um, restaurant or whatever, it was like a meow. Because you see how Elise and uh, Golden was like, like, I don't know. And then they just kind of was kind of being mean to her. But I can understand where the girls were coming from. Because they feel like because she was an ex-reality star and everything. You know, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So they feel like, oh, what's she doing here? She's not an actress. But I have a feeling, because I know this this season, this uh, show is going to be really good. You're going to get a lot of drama. I'm let you know that straight up. I'm not going to say who my favorites are, who going to be my favorite on the show. But I can tell you those people who I love. Act, I love all the ladies um, equally. But I do think Lisa Wu will shock the shit out of her. I'm sorry to say it like that, but I think she will shock the shit out of everybody. So I think a lot of y'all be on the lookout for it. It comes on every Wednesday night on TV One at 10 o'clock. Like I said, TV One Hollywood Divas. Make sure you guys write that down. Every Wednesday night at 10 o'clock, I'm going to say just that. And definitely keep up with the ladies. I think it's going to be interesting to see the dynamics of how you put five pers strong personalities together for this short film project it's going to be very interesting and you know it's going to be you know how it is when you put five females together you're going to get even though they're going to be it's supposed to be a sisterhood you're going to get the cat fight but at the same time you're going to get the argument but I think at the same time they're going to get it together but we'll see how you know everything coincides with each other and how it flows but hopefully you guys be on the lookout like I am because I'm definitely supporting it the show by watching it and that's about it. If you want to keep up with your boy right here, you can follow me on Twitter and, ins and Instagram at KTooks, which is K-T-O-O-K-E-S. The show that you're watching, the KTooks Spot, does have a Twitter page at KTooks Spot. And make sure if you guys love the season premiere like I did, make sure you thumbs up this video by liking it. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you comment. I don't know. After you guys already seen Hollywood D was the episode one the season premiere, what did you think about it? You know, let me know what you honestly think about it because I know there might have been one thing I might have left out. But I know everybody still hasn't seen it. I know a lot of y'all wanted a good synopsis, so I just gave you that. But let me know what you guys think about the um the, ep the you know the show so far in the episode. You know wh who you feel like maybe you know how you feel about how it's gonna go. Do you feel like it's gonna be a hit? Do you feel like it's just gonna be okay? But I think this is gonna be a huge hit for TV One. So TV One, if you guys are watching this, amazing job with pr with getting this out, and especially the Todd Tucker. And Carlos King for being executive producers, like I said in the beginning. So shout out to them. You guys are going to have a hit right here. And I'm very happy for everybody. And shout out to the co-cast. All the divas. So shout out to you all. So this is your boy Kenneth signing off from the K2 spot. So peace.